Irish Revenue official Tom Talbot describes the first day of the new Brexit checks on freight arriving at Dublin port. Talbot says there have been no delays. However, traffic is extraordinarily low over the festive period. Joining us live from Ireland, here is Rowana Bianca. Hello, Rowana. Hi, Alma. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? It's been a long time. Good. good to yep, see you back. Happy New Year. Nice to see you too. Okay, so on our report, uh, Britain on Friday began a new year and life outside the European Union after leaving the bloc single market with the first trucks crossing the channel by ferry and rail reporting largely plain sailing despite new custom rules. Brexit, which has dominated politics on both sides of the channel since 2016, became reality an hour before midnight, ending the United Kingdom's 48-year obligation to follow Brussels rules. Free movement of over 500 million people between Britain and the 27 EU states ended. More regards, customs checks returned for the first time in decades, despite the hard-fought brokering of a tariff and quota-free trade deal. But the approach to key Port Dover, where ferries to and from northern France dock, was quiet as dawn broke. Scores of heavy goods vehicles also passed through the Channel Tunnel, connecting Britain and France by train without any problem, early Friday, its operator said. However, the British government, which is implementing a phased introduction of checks, expects next week to be the true test, once the quiet holiday period is over. Let's hear more on this from Irish Revenue official Tom Talbot. The start has been really positive. The trucks have moved through the port. We have no concerns, but we're well aware that this is an unusual day in terms of volume. But our systems are working. We're ready for the increase in volume next week. And in, in simple terms, we're, we're, we're the 1st of January. Um, trade is normally slower on the first couple of days, and in fact, the first week or two weeks of the year. That's, that's the norm every year. So New Year's Day's newspaper reflected the historic but deeply divisive change, which will have repercussions for generations to come. The front page photograph on the pro-Brexit Daily Express showed the white cliffs of Dover, an enduring symbol of Britishness with freedom written on the Union flag. Our future, our Britain, our destiny, said the headline. The pro-EU independent was less sure off the hook or cut adrift, it asked, reflecting widespread uncertainty at the paths the country had now chosen. Whether the United Kingdom will even stay united was also exercising minds as the pro-EU Scottish National Party steps up calls for a second referendum on independence. All right, so um, can you describe to us some of the uh, practical changes made to comply with the new rules with regards to Brexit? Yes, so regards to practical changes, the Road Haulage Association, an industry body, estimates that some 220 million forms will now need to be filled in every year to comply with the new rules for transporting goods to and from mainland Europe, including permits to even drive on the roads leading to ports like Dover. Fair Group Seen Line tweeted on Friday that six freight roads bound for EU member Ireland were turned away at Holyhead Port in North Wales for not having the correct paperwork. So practical changes also include how long Britons can visit their holiday homes on the continent to travel with pets and an end to British involvement in an EU student program. Holiday makers and business travelers used to seamless EU travel could face delays. Although fierce Britons will have to get international permits to drive in Europe were averted by a separate accord. British fishermen were disgruntled at a compromise in the free trade agreement to allow continued access for EU boats in British waters, which has raised fears of clashes at sea. The key financial services sector also faces an anxious wait to learn on what basis it can keep dealing with Europe after being largely omitted from the trade deal, along with services in general, which account for 80% of Britain's economy. In Northern Ireland, the broader with the border with Ireland will closely watch to ensure movement is unrestricted, key to a 1998 peace deal that ended 30 years of violence over British rule. 
Right. Thank you very much, Rowana, for your updates there in Ireland. Thank you very much, Alma. I'm Rowana Bianca Arino, correspondent in the Republic of Ireland, and we live in interesting times. Londoners express their